Example 9.1. The Arkansas Division of ADM, a large agricultural products corporation, purchased a state-of-the-art ground leveling system for rice field preparation three years ago for $120,000. When purchased, it had an expected service life of 10 years, an estimated salvage value of $25,000 after 10 years, and an annual operating cost of $30,000. Current account book value is $80,000. The system is deteriorating rapidly. Three more years of use and then salvaging it for $10,000 on the International Used Farm Equipment Network are now the expectations. The annual operating cost is averaging $30,000. A substantially improved laser-guided model is offered today for $100,000 with a trade-in of $70,000 for the current system. The price goes up next week to $110,000 with a trade-in of $70,000. The ADM division engineer estimates the laser-guided system to have a useful life of 10 years, a salvage of $20,000, and an AOC of $20,000. A $70,000 market value appraisal of the current system was made today. If no further analysis is made on the estimates, state the correct values to include if the replacement study is performed today. Okay, so chapter nine will help you determine when it is the right time to replace your existing assets. So is it now? or later. It is based on the annual worth method. This was covered in chapter five. And you will have two alternatives only. You will have the defender, which is the uh, machine or the alternative that you have in place as of now. And you will have the challenger, which could be the replacement. Now, the amounts that will be used in the replacement study are the ones that are relevant at the time of the study only. Everything else will be considered a sunk cost. Okay, so for the challenger, yes, we will have the first cost because it's the, the price that you would pay right now for the new item, but for the defender, the P that we're going to be using is the current market value. Okay, why? You may have purchased the machine five years ago at a certain price, and at that time, yes, it was initial cost or the P, but we want to focus on the value today. So the current market value is the price that people would actually pay for this machine at the time of the study. Okay, so you know how much you could sell that machine for at this particular time. That's what you're going to be using the market value, not the original price that was paid five years ago. Okay, so with that in mind, okay, let's read what we have here. We, we're given lots of amounts, but we have to choose which ones are the ones that we would use in the replacement study. Uh, first of all, well, let's list the two alternatives that we have. Oops, sorry. So we have a defender. And the other one would be the challenger. Okay, so it says that this agricultural uh, product corporation purchased the ground leveling system for rice field preparation three years ago for $120,000. Okay, so we have an amount given here, but then we are also told that this happened three years ago. Okay, so therefore this amount is an old amount or is a sunk cost that we are not going to be using. When purchased, okay, so this was again 
three years ago. Uh, it had an expected service life of 10 years. Okay, so are we going to be using this N right here? No, because that's what we were, we were told three years ago. So the life may have changed and there's various reasons for that. Maybe uh, it gets obsolete or like I said, new technology emerges, etc. It gets, uh, it lowers the value faster or maybe it just doesn't work after a certain amount of years. So that's why you cannot rely on what you were told three years ago. Okay, so at that time they told you that it was going to be good for 10 years, but you don't know. You have to find the new, the latest or the current N. Uh, then it says here that uh, also when it was purchased that they told you that the estimated salvage was going to be 25000 after 10 years and that the annual operating cost would be $30,000. But then again, all of this uh, we were told at the time of the purchase. So this is old, this is old. Then we have a keyword coming up and it says current. Okay. But it says a current account book value is $80,000. Okay, so we mentioned that for the P of the current system, we're going to be using the market value. Here it says that this is an account value, an account book value. We will be covering the book value later on in the depreciation, depreciation chapter. Uh, but a book value is different from the market value. So the book value would be the value that has been calculated in the books, taking into consideration the depreciation methods. But the market value is the value that people would actually pay for your item. So in this case, no, we do not want the book value. So you have to pay attention to that. Then it says that the system is deteriorating rapidly, okay, but we are in the current time. Three more years of use. So this one, actually let me change it to yellow. Uh, three more years of use and then a salvage value of $10,000 on the International Use Farm Equipment Network are now the expectations and then they give us an annual operating cost over here. Okay, so in this case, they told us that after three years of use, it only has three more years to go. So what we were told at the beginning that the life was going to be 10 years, it didn't happen because it de deteriorated faster than it was expected. So as of now, we only have uh, calculated three more years of use. Like I said, this is current, so we would be using that value. And then as of now, we have estimated a salvage value of $10,000. And then again, as of now, the annual operating cost is $30,000. Okay, so let's take note of those three that we have. So we said that the N for the defender starting now would be three years then the salvage value will be ten thousand and the annual operating cost is thirty thousand okay so we haven't been told yet what the p is so this is what we got so far now here they're talking about the Challenger because it's the substantially improved model. And it says right here that it is offered today. That's your keyword. So let me highlight the word today for $100,000 with a trade in of 70,000 for the current system. Then this, let me change colors. Okay, so again, it says that it's today, 
and it's the price that they're offering today so this is the amount that we will be using and I'll keep it there and then they're also telling us that they would trade in the defender for seventy thousand dollars okay so we'll keep it there for now then they're telling us that the price is gonna go up next week so if, if we were to buy it next week uh, we would have to pay 110 they're still uh, taking the defender for seventy thousand dollars but here this will happen next week and we are performing the study today so we do not need to know what the P is going to be next week we only want to know the initial cost as of today because that's when we're going to be performing the study so no we don't care how much the price is gonna go up next week Continuing with this, the ADM division engineers estimates a useful life of 10 years. So they're giving us an N. Uh, a salvage of 20,000 and an annual operating cost of 20,000. Then, okay, so we've, we have been previously told that they would take our old machine for $70,000. So that's the appraisal that they have reached a 70,000 market value appraisal for the current system. So all of these amounts that we have here, we will use them. So we have the 10 years of life, the salvage, the annual operating cost, and the $70,000 for the current system. Okay, so now let's take note of that. Okay, so let's put this one first in the Defender. That's the, the amount that we're missing. So the P will be 70,000 and then for the challenger we said that uh, we could buy the new model for 100,000 so that's going to be RP here uh, that it, it will have a useful life of 10 years that's our N the salvage value of 20,000 and the annual operating cost of 20,000 as well. Okay, so just the only difference here is that for the Defender we ended up using the market value as a P and for the Challenger we are using the original cost at the time of the replacement study.